out again. <laughs> and, uh, I'm going to attempt to uh, photograph a waterfall. And, uh, it's probably going to be noisy down there. <laughs> so uh, if I switch to uh, external narrating, <laughs> uh, that's the reason. So. Uh, I'm on this bike path. I'm uh, going down to the river. Yeah. So that's my goal. Yeah. Yes, that's where I noticed that my microphone had uh, come off uh, with my backpack, so uh, I will try not to make that mistake again. <laughs> but uh, I got set up and, uh, and uh, tried to uh, to get a composition of the of the waterfall, uh, which I'm going to show you shortly. But as you may know, um, the plan doesn't always come true. So uh, this boring piece is, is what I got. Um, yeah. What I'm trying to tell you here is that uh, I'm not sure how much of the scene I'm going to include in the shot. Uh, so uh, what I, but since I have uh, a zoom lens, just zoom in and out, try different things, take some exposures, and and, uh, and take your picture. Um, and, uh, and that works. <laughs> So it was time to smarten up and uh, get that camera off the tripod and uh, work out a better composition than, uh, than that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, get you on your feet and, uh, and change uh, where you are basically. Um, always a smart thing to do. It's uh, a lot easier to find the composition when you just have the camera in your hand and you can quickly test uh, different uh, things. Um, and <laughs> but it's so easy to do what I just did. And just uh, stick the camera on the tripod, plonk it down and, uh, and, uh, and uh, work uh, with that composition. Uh, and then you come home with something boring that I just did. Um, so let's uh, let's see what I uh, what I found. 
and remember that at this time I still haven't figured out that my or discovered <laughs> rather I haven't dis discovered that my microphone is laying on the ground under my backpack <laughs> and uh, as usual there have to be some faffery <laughs> here uh, setting up my tripod again and uh, Let's see if I can place it according to that uh, that composition that I had figured out freehand. Uh, but uh, now shutter speeds are going to be slow, so it needs to be on the tripod. And I'm not going to say that it's the shot, but it's a shot. But I wasn't really <laughs> happy with this composition either. And, uh, yeah, well. Yeah, uh, I think I'm just gonna go have breakfast 10 meters in that direction. It's not over yet. Yeah, time for lunch <laughs> or breakfast or brunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It uh it does take some fuel to uh, keep this uh, human, <laughs> this specimen of a human going. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I'll spare you of any more of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna shoot right from here, so uh, because <laughs> the camera is right. The camera is set up right there. Okay, I think I have the shot now. As you can see, I was uh, ah. working my way towards a composition, but uh, I wasn't quite there yet. Yeah, I think I have the composition. And uh, now it's just experimenting with, uh, with shutter speeds. Uh, and... Uh, Maybe play around a little bit with the uh, with aperture to uh, to get the longer shutter speeds. Uh, stick uh, a circular polarizer on it and uh, see if I can uh, get the shutter speed further down. And uh, if not, the only option I have <laughs> is uh, is an uh, ND10. It just well, I, I don't really like the effect that the long, uh, that, that really dark or really long shutter speeds give. I, I think it's like 
the, the whole picture is kind of off when the water gets just smoothed out and all of that. So uh, I don't like that. Uh, it's uh, some will complain that uh, <laughs> well, it's it's water and it's supposed to be moving, and now you're freezing it. Well, it's photography. I'm not filming it. I'm taking a photograph. <laughs> And photograph is basically freezing motion. We're freezing <laughs> so, the moment. Uh, yeah. But, uh, but uh, some slight slowing down of things. Yeah, that, that might work. So uh, I'm going to, to try that. And also the light is very harsh now. And, and uh, if you see here through the... Uh, the camera, the waterfall is all white. Probably not much detail in that. So, uh, so uh, on with a circular uh, polarizer. Um, and, uh, <sighs> Thereabouts. That got rid of some reflections in the water. I don't really mind if there are some, but that's okay. That's basically not enough. Okay, one fifteenth of a second. No, the composition wasn't there yet. Something was lacking. Yeah. I just remembered that <laughs> I have this old square filters that uh, that I uh, got off AliExpress at one time <laughs> so uh, well the filter holder works and uh, so I'm gonna see if I can uh, put that on there and darken it down a little bit with this and uh, as long as I get sharp pictures through this, this is probably plexiglass or something, Chinesium. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we'll see what it will do for us. If I got the color cast, I'm not too worried about that because in this day and age, that's not a problem. You just correct it in post. In, uh, in Lightroom or something, whatever you have. So uh, let's get this on. Bear with me, just a little bit of faffery. Yeah, I know, you, you get what you pay for, but uh, sometimes you can't get away with paying less. And uh, <laughs> Let's just hope that it's one of those times. So, yeah, let's do this. Yes, we do have uh, mosquitoes and uh, midgets. Midgets. Yeah, uh, we call them mig. Uh, here in the Arctic, <laughs> plenty of them. Uh, they are big too. Two will hold you down while while the third one uh, bleed you dry. <laughs> now I was starting to feel like I was uh, getting somewhere, uh, but still something was missing. It's that uh, that X factor wasn't there. And let's bring on the big gun and the ND10 fil filter. I have no frigging clue how many <laughs> what ND that uh, square one is. Yeah, that's my ND10. Dusty! The 
it's a little scratch this one so so uh, just a little bit more faffery now and uh, I should be ready to uh, wow. <laughs> use that ND filter or uh, ND10 that I really I don't like but uh, just maybe we'll see Yeah, MD10, <laughs> how will that go? Uh, <laughs> I'm in bulb, bulb land. <laughs> Turk. Yeah, 30 seconds exposure time. Uh, it's going to look ridiculous in my opinion, but uh, let's, uh, let's give it a go. <laughs> 30 seconds. So uh, I obviously stand corrected. Um, uh, we'll have to empty my piggy bank and uh, order myself some uh, some new filters <laughs> because uh, yeah, uh, that last one yeah, while not perfect in any sense of the word, it was sublime compared to the rest that day. I can, of course, explore this waterfall a lot more. But, uh, yeah. I will. <laughs> this is... Uh, This is about uh, five minutes from home. <laughs> so, uh, I really like the, the microchips because uh, you don't need to spend <laughs> that much money on fuel. And uh, yeah, 